Welcome, everybody, to the webinar brought to you by ARIA National Membership Services Committee. As an ARIA member, you are interested in increasing home ownership for the AAPI community, networking, building relationships, and your business. As your membership service committee chair, I am dedicated to working with our committee to continue to increase your ARIA membership value. I have to credit RITU, the 21 ARIA National Commercial Committee Chair for connecting with and exploring Comstock last year. And as I am excited to say that we officially partnered with them in offering ARIA members a new increased benefit. Let me introduce Lucy Burt, Director of Marketing Development at Comstack, who is here today to tell you all about how to use Comstack. Take it away, Lucy. Awesome. Thanks so much, Dan. Really excited to be here and chat with the group again. Uh, definitely appreciate everyone taking a little bit of time out of their day um, to hear a little bit more about Comstack. So really goal of today is just to give everyone an overview of the CompStack platform um, and discuss how you can best utilize it in your day-to-day -day work, as well as cover the exciting benefit that each of you can receive through our partnership. And most importantly, answer any questions you may have. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen here for you guys. Give me just a second. There we go. Wonderful. Um, Jessica, can you just confirm it is on the on the right screen for me? Um, it it's on your view. Okay, let me do this for you. Sorry, everyone, having a little technical difficulty on the end, but looks like that we're good. good to go on here. All right, wonderful. So. Really, again, just to reiterate, wanted to do a quick overview of what we're all about and then take a deeper dive into the functionality of the platform for everyone. So first and foremost, what is CompStack? Uh, at our core, CompStack provides nationwide commercial real estate insight through verified commercial lease comps, sales comps, and property details. Uh, there are two sides for a platform. The first side is for commercial real estate brokers, appraisers, and researchers. Uh, this side of the platform is entirely free because it works as an exchange of data. You share a lease or sales comp, you earn credits for sharing that comp, and then you can utilize those credits to access other comps on the platform. Uh, the other side of the platform is called Enterprise. This is a paid subscription model for uh, CRE professionals who don't have their brokerage or appraisal license. Uh, so this is really mostly utilized by clients such as banks, REITs, developers, landlords, um, and really just, again, anyone that doesn't fall under that brokerage or appraisal umbrella. So this presentation is primarily going to focus on the exchange side of the platform, uh, but we will be you know, more than happy to connect any potential enterprise clients with our enterprise team so they can take a deeper dive into those offerings there. And I'm seeing something come up in the chat really quick. Let me just double check. Oh, we're good. Um, okay, going to the next slide. Just to reiterate where we are getting our data from. Uh, all the data that we have on the platform is coming directly from verified commercial real estate professionals actively working on deals in the market. Uh, so again, brokers, appraisers, researchers. We are never pulling data from listings. So you can ensure that these are the most accurate uh, and timely data points that you guys are taking a look at. On this next slide, you will see that this is just a representation of the trading ecosystem that I was going over earlier. So step one, you know, a user submits a comp, that comp then converts into credits, and then you are able to utilize those credits to access other lease and sales comps on the platform. So essentially a give to get system there. Again, reiterating all these comps coming directly from you guys, we don't just take that at face value. We do put every comp we receive through a multi-step verification process. So the first step of that process is artificial intelligence. Every comp we receive goes through a proprietary computer algorithm. This algorithm takes into consideration a myriad of factors. Uh, you know, the first being, okay, who is this user that this submitted this comp? Is this a brand new person? Is this somebody that's been utilizing the platform for the past 10 years? 
What's the space type? What area did this deal happen in? Uh, comparing it to other comps in the system, really ensuring that this is a reliable and accurate comp. Uh, if there are any red flags or anomalies, it is then sent to our data team. Uh, our data team is one of the largest teams within the company. They hand comb through these comps, additionally trying to figure out what was this red flag that was raised? What is the anomaly? Um, was it just that it was a typo that there's a decimal place off? What's going on here? Uh, and last but not least is our community regulation. Uh, so on average in our primary markets, we receive a comp five times. Uh, and so that really just allows us to say, okay, comp A that we got says these data points, does the fifth comp that we received line up with that? Uh, so really ensuring that, um, that accuracy there for you guys. We process over 60,000 transactions per month. Really just wanted to throw this on here um, as a representation of the recent and accurate data that is consistently being added to the platform. Uh, I think that's an exciting thing that I hear is, you know, brokers are consistently hopping on here because if a deal wasn't on there yesterday, it could be on there tomorrow. Uh, so just to represent that the, the data is fluid and coming in and coming out often. We provide nationwide coverage. We are in over a hundred markets, over a thousand submarkets, and in over 12,000 cities. So really, really providing data all over the, the map for you guys there. And then most exciting piece of this, as I had just gone over uh, the credit piece. So are you members who qualify for the exchange platform? Again, just reiterating commercial brokers and appraisers will receive a free membership with 300 promotional credits. Uh, this is equal to 10 comps on the platform. Uh, so this is enabling you to unlock 10 comps without ever having to trade a comp with us. So very exciting benefit for there for the individuals that qualify for the exchange side of the platform. Uh, for individuals that qualify for the enterprise side of the platform are eligible to receive a one-on-one -on -one consultation with our enterprise team. And again, these clients tend to be our bankers, investors, owners, developers, and property managers. From here, I'm going to jump into a quick platform demo to take a just deeper dive into the functionality and how you guys can best utilize it. So let me change screens here. All right. And as we are going through the platform, Please feel free to throw any questions that you have into the chat. I want this to be as interactive as possible um, and don't want anybody getting hung up on apprehensions if a, if a question isn't answered early on. So I actually see some things in here. So I'm just gonna do a double check. Everybody just saying hi, that's awesome to hear. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this. So taking a look at the screen and Jessica, just wanna confirm that the, the screen is visible to you guys. Yeah, it looks good. Awesome. Okay, good stuff. So taking a look at the screen, uh, you can see here the larger map of LA. So when you jump into the CompStack platform, uh, this is what you will see is the map of your particular user market. So as I was just showing you guys earlier that we do have nationwide coverage, uh, you are able to choose the particular market that you mostly work in. Um, and that's what will auto-populate when you jump into the platform on your account. But let's say you work in a couple of different markets. Always know that you can go over here to the left-hand drop-down menu and jump into any particular market that you need to start scoping out and looking for comps in. Um, I do want to point out one piece here that you do have to be within a particular market within a state to see the comps in that market. So as you can see, clicking on California, drop down, um, there's a differentiation between if we're in LA versus if you want to go see what's going on in the Bay Area versus San Diego, you need to jump into those particular markets. So we can stay in LA for this demo here. Um, from there, it's really just filtering down to get to the most specific and granular details of the comp that you're looking for. So right up here are really map views, right? So you can throw a radius filter on there to help search within a certain radius for the comp that you're trying to find. You can use our submarket filters to jump into a particular submarket. Um, but really going down here to more filters is where you can get very granular. Uh, and I think this being the most useful piece uh, to search for the specific comp that you're looking for. So you can plug in by street address. Is there a certain comp along a certain street that you're trying to find? You can plug that in here. Um, is there a certain zip code that you can plug in here? 
most importantly, I think is what's the space type that you're trying to find, right? Are you solely looking for office space? Are you looking for retail, industrial, so on or so forth? You can specify by just clicking that box here to see only the office comps that we have in a particular market. Then you continue to build on. So is there a particular starting rent that you're trying to search with then? Um, you can plug the beginning to end range there. Uh, what is the square footage that you're trying to find as well? Is there a certain range that you want to plug in? You can put that in there. Uh, what's the, how recent does this deal need to be? You know, is there a specific date range that you want to plug in? Or can you just say any of these office deals of the square footage that have been done in the last year? You can use these auto-populated pieces here. Uh, another piece that I want to point out that you can separately do is some prospecting work with the platform. So let's say some of you may be really, you know, taking a dive into the beginning of your commercial career. You can start prospecting by searching by expiration date. What comps, um, what tenants are going to need a, a new space in the coming months? Uh, start looking for those guys and start giving them a call. So you can plug in a certain expiration date here and start seeing those deals. From there, uh, if you put in a certain criteria for the comp that you're looking for, and you can save this search. So let's say you are looking in a certain area of LA for office comps of a square footage on a pretty consistent basis, you can save that search. Uh, so we'll just say office LA. And this is just a handy way that you don't have to jump on the platform every day. So if you save this search, you will get an email alert anytime a new comp is added to the platform that meets the criteria that you laid out over here. So again, just a nice way that you don't need to jump on here every day and you can still keep a pulse on the market and see what new deals are happening. From there, once you've plugged in all the criteria for the specific comp that you're looking for, you go over here to the right hand corner and click refine. This is now going to pull up all the comps that match the criteria that you laid out over on the left hand side. So taking a look at the screen, you can see that there are always a handful of fields that are visible to you before you unlock the comp itself. You can always see the quarter that the deal was done, the street address, the city, the tenant name, and the space type. Uh, and then scrolling over, you're going to see a range for the square footage. You'll see the precise square footage when you unlock the comp. Uh, but then you're gonna start seeing these padlocks and these dashes. Uh, so the padlocks represent that that column header piece of information is available in the comp when you unlock the entire comp using your credits. If there's a dash, that means that piece of information was not submitted to us and therefore isn't going to just appear when you unlock a comp. Uh, and I always just like to put that out there so everybody knows that if they get down to looking between you know, two or three comps, they know which ones have the exact pieces of information that they're looking for. So we can go ahead and jump into one of these comps and take a look at it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click this line item here. I uh, do a double check that this is the street address and this is the tenant that I was looking for. Click unlock. That's gonna take 30 credits from my credit bank. And now all those fields that were previously covered by a padlock are visible to you. Uh, so really those hard to find details, right? What's the exact square footage? Uh, what was the precise starting rent? What's the lease type? Was there any concessions involved in the deal? We see this free rent. Um, it says zero for the TI. So all those important fields for you there to see. So how do we get this comp off the platform? You can easily export it by clicking this export button into Excel or into PDF. PDF is definitely a fan favorite because it's very customizable. You can add your logo right here who you're preparing this for and any notes around the deal. Uh, you can easily remove this cover page if it's not something that you're interested in keeping on there. And then you just have the individual comp itself down here. Note that all these fields are editable um, at, when you're on the platform. So you can edit it here before you export it into PDF and send it off to a client. I'm gonna take a pause here and double check on these questions. All right, not seeing anything yet. Again, please feel free to throw any questions into the chat and I will answer them as we go. But if there aren't any questions here, I will go ahead and move right along. Getting out of this, what we just covered was the leases tab. From here, we can go over and move to the sales comps tab. Sales works almost identically to the lease comps tab. The main piece that I wanted to point out here that is a differentiator is that in addition to receiving the comps from our user base, we do have public record data for sales on here for any sales that is 1.5 million sales price and above. 
any sales comp that came from the public record and does not have any user contributed data in it will not take any credits for you to unlock. Uh, it is just there for you to access and see and really um, be more of a one-stop shop for you guys. So you're not having to jump to numerous platforms to try and find those sales comps that you're looking for. But otherwise, just as we went through the lease comps tab, you can plug in all the plug and play features here of what's the, you know, what's the property type that you're looking for. Is there a certain building size that you're trying to find? What's the market starting rent? Um, transaction date, transaction square footage and then price per square foot for you. And just as you click refine to see the lease comps, you click refine and you can see the sales comps here. All right, moving along, what I'm going to go through next is really how do you share comps with us in order to earn those credits? So we try to make the sharing process as easy as possible for you guys. Um, you can upload fully executed lease or sales comps in any format, whether they're in a JPEG, an Excel, a PDF, however you have them, feel free to send them to us and they can be in whatever quantity. If it's just one comp or a hundred comps, you can send them all just by clicking this green button right here, upload files and get credits, pull directly from where your files are being kept, upload and we'll take care of the rest. Um, you can manually enter a comp here. Definitely don't recommend because it is a little time consuming, but let's say you just have the, the details top of mind and you wanna just plug them in here, you can easily do that as well. Important piece to note, you can see the stamp um, of anonymous right here. I just wanna clarify this platform is entirely anonymous. Uh, we hold that to a very high standard. Uh, so your name will never be revealed that you're utilizing us or sharing comps with us unless you explicitly say, you know, singing from the rooftops that we love CompSec and we want people to know that I'm a user. Um, we do have many firms and many users saying that, um, but otherwise it is entirely anonymous. Just note that when you are submitting a comp to us that there are what we call required fields. So this is the bare minimum amount of information that must be included in the comp when you share it with us in order to receive credits. So for a lease comp, you can see everything from full address, tenant name, space type, all the way down to execution date or commencement, and then lease term or expiration. And then on the sales side, similar, but just pertaining to the sales comps, full address, true buyer, true seller, all the way down to price per square foot. This will earn you the bare minimum amount of credits. So when you think about our credit system, think of it based off how recent the comp is and how much information is in there. So the highest amount of credits you can receive is 30. And that's if a comp contains all the required fields, has been executed in the past year, as well as has these premium fields. So these premium fields are these harder to get details uh, that really just up the ante and allow you to earn more credit. So for a lease comp, if you can send over the TI, free rent and transaction type, that'll get you to 30. And on a sale, cap rate, NOI, operating expenses. And then the credits just reduce from there. So if you don't include those premium fields, but the comp has still been executed within the last year, it's 25. And then any comp that is older than a year of execution will earn you five credits. Um, so, so very helpful information and important, but as you know, as you're doing these deals um, in an ever-changing market, the more recent data is always the most helpful. All right, so that is very much the, the long and short of the platform. Um, are there any questions that anybody has that I can take a deeper dive into or really highlight any other pieces of the platform here? Not seeing any pop up. I'll give it just another minute. While people are thinking through their questions, really the, the next step, if you do not already have a CompSec account, uh, is to, oh, I'm going to pause here just quickly. Jennifer is mentioning, did we go over cost? So there are two sides to the platform. One side is exchange, and that side is entirely free which is really what we just went over is the exchange platform. It is entirely free for brokers, appraisers, and researchers because it works as the exchange of data. You share this comp, which enables you to access other comps. There's no cost associated. 
If you do not have your brokerage or appraisal license, then you fall on our enterprise side of the platform. That side is a paid subscription model. Uh, and that is really the next step there is to have a one-on-one -on -one, um, consultation with our enterprise team to determine the data that you're trying to access and what markets and how many individuals would be on the team. Uh, and then we can really create that quote for you and what the, the subscription price would look like for you there. Which leads into what I was just mentioning earlier, the, the piece about really next steps. How can you sign up for an account with us? Um, I know once I stop sharing my screen, I believe Jessica is going to pop up a slide that shows uh, how you can access it through the ARIA website, but I'm also going to drop a link in this chat that you can easily click um, that allows you to put your email information, first, last name, and generate an account for you guys. All right, another question. Does this work alongside LoopNet and CoStar? It absolutely does. Um, majority of our clients are utilizing both of those tools because we are not a listings platform. Um, so you cannot do listings with us, but most users are utilizing those tools uh, for their listing needs and then coming to us for their lease and sales comps needs. Wonderful. All right, I will stop sharing my screen here. Uh, if Jessica, you wanna go ahead and you can share that other item, please feel free to drop any other questions in the chat. Uh, but I will additionally put this link in here as well. Wonderful. Uh, and as mentioned on the slide, please feel free to shoot me an email. I'm here to help. I would love to take a deeper dive on any questions that anyone has, you know, as you, as you leave this presentation and something pops into your head, um, please do not hesitate to reach out uh, and would love to get everyone signed up and really utilizing this platform. Uh, so you guys can start closing some better, better deals and doing it more efficiently for sure. Sure. So I'm seeing uh, if there is a recording of this. I do believe, you know, we've done one of these previously, and I know that is on Aria's YouTube channel. Um, I'm not sure if this one will also be put up there, but uh, on very similar content that can also be viewed again. And if they're wonderful, so you guys are recording, I'm just seeing now in the chat. Um, but also, again, please feel free to reach out. I'd be happy to do a quick demo with anybody uh, to really have a more one-on-one -on -one consultation. Um, I'm seeing that somebody missed the, the cost piece of this. Just to reiterate, entirely free if you have your brokerage or appraisal license. If you do not, uh, it is a paid subscription model. But otherwise, if you're a broker or appraiser, it's a gift to get system by sharing a comp, you're able to access another comp. Um, but if you are not a broker or appraiser, there is a paid subscription piece to allow you to access this information. Um, but just remember that the ARIA benefit as a broker or appraiser, you will have 300 credits added to your account upon sign up to start accessing these comps without ever having to trade a deal with us. And then if you would be falling on our enterprise side, uh, you're eligible to have a one-on-one -on -one consultation with our enterprise team to really dig into what the work that you are doing um, and what data that you need from us and what markets and how many seats. Uh, we can generate a, a, a process for you guys there and really what that subscription would look like. Wonderful. Well, again, I appreciate everyone taking the time to hop on here and learn a little bit more about this uh, platform and really how it can benefit you guys in your day-to-day -day work. Uh, we've loved working with Aria, and so please reach out with any questions or if I can help in any way, really wanna be here as a resource for all of you. Um, we That's another piece of this membership is really I'm your, your designated person. So if you're out on the run and need help finding a comp, never hesitate to shoot me a text, shoot me an email. I'm, I'm happy to help where I can. Thank you so much, Lucy. Absolutely. Wonderful. Well, have a great rest of the day, everyone, and look forward to seeing all of you sign up. We'll talk soon.